This is picanha, the best meat in the world, and I call her the queen. If you don't know what picanha is, it is the cap of the sirloin. And today I'm gonna prepare her a little different. But the first thing I need to do is trim the fat and open her up. Check it out. The only thing you need to remember is do not cut all the way through, just open a nice pocket. To make sure I can crisp up the fat nicely, I am scoring it. Now that she's ready, the first thing I need to do is make some bacon salt, and here's how. Just crisp up some bacon. This is Brazilian sea salt. It is not your usual grocery store salt. I definitely recommend it. It's unique and made for picanha. Now let's make that bacon salt. Remember exact amount in the description down below. And that's the bacon salt. Now for the stuffing. We got mozzarella cheese and bacon. You are welcome to use butcher's twine, but I wanted to show a different option, and here's how. And then just finish it off with a bacon salt. To ensure perfect doneness, I'm using my wireless thermometer. Now that we have her ready, I am going to be reverse searing the beautiful queen. So let's do it. Angel, what do you think of this beauty? Oh, you you just said it, it's a beauty. Wow, it looks fantastic. We are starving and ready to try this. Are you ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready for this. All right, let's go for it. You gotta do this on a special occasion, you know, like a celebration or something, because this is too nice. Are you ready for this, Angel? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, cuts like butter, like butter. All right, let's try it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> wow, hold on a second. We need to go for seconds. That was like, like butter. It is like butter, guys. It's extremely soft, super tender. You feel that bacon, the cheese together. The juices from the cheese is also on the board as well. It's not only from the picanha, but the picanha is so juicy, so flavorful. Wow, wow. that's amazing. This is what it is, can go out. I didn't think you could make a picanha. Even better, huh? Even better, but there it is. Cut a little more, man. You want some more? Cut a little more, man. <laughs> you know, here in the United States, we do like prime rib, and we do like leg of lamb, and so forth. In Brazil, on national holidays, we normally do something like this special with the picanha. It's not very common, but it is fantastic, and I really hope you guys give this one a try. Now, the cheese, could probably melt a little bit more, but if you take it even a higher temperature, you obviously you're gonna lose that medium rare perfection. Yeah. But 
even though the cheese is not melted all the way, I love it just like this. You agree, Angel? Oh, yeah. The cheese is kind of gooey instead of being completely melted. Oh, it's good. I think this is one of the best combinations that you've done in a while. The queen, you can never cook her own, by the way. Unless you overcook her, you can do anything with it and it's going to be great. Now, the good thing about it is that you can stuff it with anything you like any different types of ingredients, it will work just fine. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. And remember, if you're interested in anything I use, everything is in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Are you ready for this? Yes. All right, look at how juicy, and I know you like juicy meat. You ready? Yes. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's actually really good. It's good, isn't it? Rate it from 0 to 10. 10. 10! <laughs> I told you it's good. See you guys on the next one, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.